Blizzard is officially owned by MC now. Ultimately, Xbox aren't like dog uh, PlayStation in the respect that they, they the one thing that you got to give it to Xbox chat is they don't limit their games uh, to their console. Right? Which I appreciate. They released it on PC. So ultimately, what can I say? I'm, I am I am a bit of, you know, and, and, and now if they, start, if they start doing exclusives, then I'm going to be like, well, this company but uh right now they they don't they are released it on pc and then that makes me a xbox enjoyer to be honest with you and the fact of the matter is you know what what is worse activision blizzard okay or microsoft right so surely i mean in fact it's microsoft's more ethical they are more ethical they they, they no they, they they are more ethical microsoft is more ethical 100 percent I, I can only believe that Activision Blizzard could get better when it comes to monetization and things. Yeah. No, they are. Straight up, bruv. Straight up. Oh, Valve. I mean, dude, Valve is... Fu we're, not, we're not saying who's the most ethical company. Dude, the Microsoft compared to Valve is complete trash dog shit. Complete trash dog shit ass trash. Don't even fucking compare Valve to fucking Microsoft even for a second. Can be privately traded? Go to fucking genius fucking Gabe? Literal God making the best games ever. Fucking just based as fuck. Motherfucker just creates the best platform. Uh, makes the best games. Just walks away, bro. He says he doesn't want to release, uh, you know, Half-Life until he can just, rev you know, revolutionize the gaming space. Oh, my. Gabe is a fucking God, bro. He's a fucking God. Do not question, Gabe. Do not question, Gabe. Oh, suck Gabe's dick. Activision CEO Bobby Kodak will stay on a CEO of ABK until the end of 2023 to help with the transition period. That's pretty normal, right? Read the emails. Let's tweet. He's leaving to end of 2023. He's leaving. Today, Maxim also of the company's celebrated history. Combining uh, with Microsoft, we will bring new resources and new opportunities to our extraordinary, extraordinary teams worldwide. This will enable us to deliver more fun, more joy, and more connection to more players than ever before. This moment is uh, possible because of your efforts over the four decades to innovate, inspire, and achieve. When Brian Kelly and I began this journey in 1991, we intended to build a company uh, that would have great impact and lasting value. Your tireless work and unwavering commitment to excellent and excellence enable us to just do that. In the 1980s, uh, we pioneered independent third-party game development with Pitfall, Raid, and Kaboom. In the 1990s, uh, we... You know, the world with online multiplayer games like MechWarrior, Warcraft, StarCraft. 2000s, we introduced Call of Duty, which became one of the... Dude, shut the fuck up like you guys did all this shit. Okay. You were some cunts. Yeah, you made like WoW or some shit and bought a bunch of other companies. Okay, that's what you did. All right, and then you milked them. And you keep milking them to this very day to the point where they're like... It's like a fucking emaciated cow. And it's got no milk left, bro. Okay. Anyway. In the 2000s, we uh, introduced Call of Duty, which became one of the most uh, successful entertainment franchises in history. We also introduced Guitar Hero. Who the fuck made COD? When COD just fucking act... I mean, whatever, dude. Okay. To be fair, I'm a Blizzard Andy, right? So it's like, I look at all the Activision shit as some dog shit. What? Can, they, can they retroactively talk as if they were all the same thing back then? Because is, is he speaking as Activision or is he speaking as Blizzard? Like, bro, is he, like, was Bobby, was Bobby doing anything? Like, he's saying, oh, yeah, we made Warcraft. Bobby, you didn't do shit with Warcraft. You didn't do fucking shit with Warcraft. You can't claim that you did Warcraft. You didn't even, fucking we Andy Bobby Kodak over here. This is, bold. you can't claim, like, okay, whatever. All right, I'm fucking balding. We also introduced uh, Guitar Hero, Tony Hawk's Fox Skater, and it's a popular culture uh, video games. Okay, dude, yeah, you didn't do... Okay, whatever. In the 2010s, we debuted Cranny Crash Saga. Okay, nobody fucking cares. We, 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 we. You purchased a bunch of companies and milked them for money. Okay, bro. And just monetized the fuck out of them. I think you actively, Bobby, got these franchises and fucking ruined them. You ran them into the ground. Like, let's be honest. Straight up. That's what, that's what Bobby did. We, okay, that's what, no, you, okay. You and your fucking other shareholder motherfuckers are just all the obsessed with profits 
and buying more shit and then ruining that shit. Fuck you. Your dedication is what makes it possible to continually uh, pitch envelopes, break records, and delight players. Amid the uncertainty of the last 21 months, uh, you remain focused, as always, on serving our players and supporting each other. I've long said that I'm fully committed to helping with the transition. Phil asked me to stay on as CEO of ABK, uh, replying to him, and uh, we have agreed that I will do that till the end of 2023. We both look forward to working together on a smooth integration for our teams and players. Brian and I can be more excited to, uh, for the next chapter of ABK. We now join one of the most successful global companies poised um, for unprecedented opportunities to, uh, to connect the world through our games. It's part of Microsoft. We'll be embedded together, Bobby. I mean, he's going to help the transition till the end of 2023. Do you know what it reminds me of? It's like, it reminds me of that game of that fucking, you know, the, you know the one where you're like a blob and you've got to eat the other blobs? Okay. And there was all these blobs at the beginning and you had like the Blizzard North and Blizzard South and whatever and you had all these other, you know, little other companies and they were like eating each other and like the, the blob became this blob and then the Blizzard ate this, the little Blizzard and then the other, then Blizzard fucking ate these other guys and then you had the Activision that was like this big blob that started eating up all these other little blobs and then bang, it ate this big blob. And now you got this huge Activision Blizzard blob and now the fucking big ass Xbox Microsoft fucking blob comes along and it's just... <laughs> That's what just happened, bro. It's a big, it's a big ass blob now. Just a bunch of blobs eating each other. Hmm. I mean, hopefully Bobby does go. I'm going to be honest. Hopefully Bobby does go. Because I don't, I think Bobby's straight up net negative. I, I think, but fuck Bobby. I, I hopefully, uh, you know, the, the, you know, because I feel like the Phil guy. I mean, yeah, he's motivated by the company being successful, but his goal is to try and make like a, what he's trying to make is an environment that makes you want to stay in the Xbox marketplace. And he's motivated less on monetizing the shit out of each individual game. But actually trying to make the games on the Xbox marketplace the best games, then you go and integrate with the Xbox system. Which means the goalposts change in terms of how they monetize. Right? So they're going to be more, you know, trying to make games a, a little bit better. I mean, surely this, I mean, of course, they're still going to monetize them how they're monetizing them currently. But I, you could see there the goals change to go from pure profit from each IP to like, make the IP as good as possible so more people go on this and they can get more money from the Xbox marketplace. I think, I think it could. I think it could change for the better. I mean, not, I don't expect it much to change until, like, you know, we're in 2024, at least. Um, but then you could start, I think maybe we start seeing, like, slightly less aggressive monetization. And, uh, you know, it's, they're going to try and push uh, more straight-up just good content out. I mean, that would be the dream, right? That'd be the dream. Look, have you have you ever heard this guy? I watched a bunch of this this guy. He's like an Xbox Marketplace Andy, bro. He, he's like, um, what they're trying to do? Think of Apple. They're like one, you know, like Apple has this fucking monopoly on like all these Apple products, and they they have this Apple ecosystem, and they have like uh, you know all these Apple products and these Apple apps. And once you get in, all the apps integrate with each other perfectly and all the bits of hardware connect to each other really well. And, you know, you kind of like, well, you like, you get the Apple phone. And you're like, well, I might as well get the Apple fucking TV now. I'm like, oh, I might as well get the Apple fucking watch. And like all these things perfectly synchronized. And then, oh, well, I'm going to get the Apple apps now because I need can't message to people. So I'm going to get the Apple chat. And then I mean, now I'm in the Apple fucking marketplace and I'm buying stuff. And then you, basically you're making a bunch of money, right? So, and Apple's goal is not to try and make, um, to just like, monetize the fuck out of their all their shit like hardcore and just take as much money as possible they're trying to make like a badass experience that works really well and then tax you and then take it from a uh, you know a macro perspective and just constantly tax you and take like a you know 20 percent profit and then they're gonna get you kind of it's kind of like aoe i feel like that's what xbox are doing slash microsoft right and i feel like this leads to them actually just trying to make better products and then they're just going to tax you and all that, like everything you buy in Xbox, every time you go on the fucking marketplace, every time you use that, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that's what they're going for. Which inadvertently ends up with better products, though. 
Uh, what is it? Phil Spencer, CEO of Microsoft Gaming, shared his thoughts on what it means for Activision Blizzard to join Xbox family after the long acquisition process finally came to a close. Hmm. Because he is. God 